Every year, people around the world create more than 2 billion tons of waste. A large part of that waste is glass. Glass is strong, useful, and found in many items like bottles and jars. But here's something surprising a single glass bottle can take more than a million years to break down in a landfill. That means if we just throw it away, it will sit there for longer than humans have even been around. But the good news is, glass is one of the few materials that can be recycled again and again, forever, without losing its quality. Before we dive in, make sure to like the video and subscribe for more amazing content like this. So how does that work? What really happens to a used glass bottle after you toss it in the recycling bin? How does a dirty, broken bottle become a shiny new one? To understand this, let's go step by step and look inside one of the biggest glass recycling plants in the world. This factory turns hundreds of tons of old glass into brand new bottles every single day. It's like a magic trick but done with machines, heat, and a lot of smart planning. The first step in recycling glass is collecting used bottles. In everyday life, people throw away empty bottles of soda, beer, juice, or other drinks. If these bottles are mixed with other garbage, like food waste or plastic, it becomes harder and more expensive to recycle them. That's why some countries, especially in Europe, have a special system to collect glass properly. They place machines called bottle return stations all around the city. People can put their empty bottles into the machines, which scan the bottle, check its type, and give back a small refund usually 10 or 20 cents per bottle. This gives people a reason to return bottles instead of throwing them away. Once these machines are full, collection trucks are sent out to pick up the bottles. The bottles are placed into large bins, each one can hold thousands of bottles. A full truck can carry around 20,000 to 30,000 bottles in a single trip. These trucks drive from supermarkets and return points straight to the recycling plant. When the trucks arrive, they back up to a large dumping area and unload all the bottles. A colorful mountain of green, brown, and clear glass piles up quickly on the floor. These piles might look like trash, but they are actually the beginning of a recycling journey. Next, the recycling process begins. Huge machines called loaders scoop up the glass and dump it into a feed hopper, which is like a giant funnel. From there, the glass moves onto a conveyor belt and is carried deep into the factory. At this point, the bottles are still dirty and mixed with labels, caps, and bits of food or paper. So the first goal is to clean and separate the glass from anything that isn't glass. The conveyor belt carries the glass to a vibrating screen. This machine shakes and sorts out small particles like dust sand, and tiny glass pieces that are too small to reuse. Even after this first cleaning step, there are still items that don't belong like bits of plastic, paper, or metal. So human workers stand along the conveyor and use their hands to pick out anything that doesn't look right. This teamwork between machines and people helps make the recycling process more accurate. After that, a strong magnet is used to pull out any metal, like bottle caps. The magnet grabs the metal and the glass continues down the line. At this point, the glass is now around 80% clean. Once most of the unwanted materials are removed, it's time to crush the glass. The glass is sent into a hammer mill, which is a giant machine with spinning hammers that smash the glass into tiny pieces. These pieces are called cullet. Cullet looks like shiny sand and is perfect for melting. If any pieces of glass are still too big, the system sends them back through the hammer mill again. This ensures all the glass is the same size and melts evenly later on. After crushing, the cullet goes through more cleaning steps. A strong stream of air blows away any leftover bits of labels or paper. Then, the cullet reaches the optical sorting system. This part uses high-tech lasers and sensors. As the tiny glass pieces fall down like a waterfall, the sensors scan each piece to check its color and type. If a piece is the wrong color like a green bit in a clear glass batch it gets shot away with a quick puff of air. This happens thousands of times every minute. This step is super important because even a little bit of the wrong color can ruin a whole batch of glass. Once the color is fully sorted and clean, it's moved into storage areas, sorted by color brown, green, and clear. These glass particles are now ready to be turned into new glass products. But cullet can't go into the furnace alone. It needs to be mixed with raw materials. These include things like silica sand, soda ash, and limestone. Silica sand gives glass its basic form. Soda ash helps it melt at lower temperatures, which saves energy. Limestone makes the glass strong and stable. The recycled glass cullet is carefully mixed with raw materials like sand and minerals, then melted in a furnace at around 1 to 5 OC. 
hotter than volcanic lava. This molten glass is shaped into bottles using specially designed metal molds. Small blobs of molten glass, called gobs, are blown with air to form rough shapes, then finalized in precise molds. The newly formed bottles are still glowing hot and are gently moved onto a conveyor belt leading to an annealing oven. Here, the glass cools slowly and carefully to prevent cracks, ensuring the bottles are strong and durable for further processing and use. After cooling, each glass bottle is carefully checked using cameras and sensors to spot any cracks, bubbles, or defects. Bottles that don't meet the quality standards are removed and sent back to be recycled again. Only perfect ones move forward. Next, robots stack the bottles neatly onto pallets, adding protective sheets between layers. The stacks are wrapped in plastic film, labeled, and prepared for delivery to beverage companies worldwide. At drink companies like Coca-Cola, the bottles are cleaned with hot water and steam. They are then filled with soda and carbon dioxide, sealed with caps, and inspected again for quality, including label placement and fill level. Finally, the bottles are packed into cartons, sent to cold storage, and shipped to stores and restaurants. From there, they reach customers ready to start the cycle all over again. The journey of a recycled glass bottle is a long and complex one, but it works. A used bottle goes from trash to treasure, from broken shards to something clean, strong, and ready to be used again. How this glass formula is truly one of the most recyclable materials on Earth. Recycling it saves energy, cuts pollution, and reduces waste in landfills. By learning about this process, we can all understand how powerful recycling can be. The next time you finish a soda or sauce in a glass container, remember that bottle can live again. All it takes is a little effort, the right recycling system, and the amazing technology behind the scenes. Glass recycling is not just good for the planet. It's proof that old things can have a brand new life. If you found this interesting, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. It really helps the channel grow.